Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hanger. This is Mike, and I'm coming at you with the weekly news and review for September 18th, 2022, 2022. Now, we've got some news this week. Of course, some Transformers news, Masterpiece. I don't really think much of Legends, but there's some mainline stuff going on. Mattel Creations had a four pack of He Man up, and they're still up for pre order. I'm proud of the community for this one. There is another HasLab for Ghost Rider, so we are going to talk about that. Because there's a HasLab, I'm going to have a few things to say about it, of course. There's an interesting release, the the Marshall Sundown. Is this going to be a resurgence of cops, or is this a one-off? we got pictures of another upcoming project from Ramen Toy, and it looks pretty good. And we're going to talk a little Star Wars emphasis on little. Coming up! What's new at ShowZ? Well, we have a Legend Scale Omega Supreme, the Pengu Toys PTO2 Mighty Miracle God Omega Supreme. So this is pretty cool looking. It does look a lot like DX9, almost exactly. It is 10.63 inches tall, and it comes with, of course, everything featured there. And the price on this is going to be $79.99. So that's actually not a bad price considering those combiners are all pushing like $250. So not a bad deal. I got one pre-ordered. This might be the deal of the week, but Shozi does have this coming into stock right now. The Yes model set of two, the Data Kirk, uh, Cupula, and the Tom and Buffet, whatever. These two headmasters here, which are Chrome Dome and a Hardhead. So Yes model is sort of a KO of the Make Toys, but I really think it's just Make Toys. But anyway, it's coming into stock. Set of two for 100 bucks. It makes a 50 each. And we also have a fourth party. This is the Voyager class of the SS61 glass uh, dark of the Moon Sentinel Prime, and it's a deluxe version. So if you missed out on this previously, now there's a KO for 30 bucks, you can get a show Z. All right, so we got some pictures this week of X Transpots. This is the actual pictures of their Dante, their Inferno, and so it does look very good. It looks magnificent. It looks very well painted, and the design looks fantastic, and I'm not even really put off by the, the whole ladder thing in the back, but does look really good. And in both modes, looks very realistic. Fire engine and all that kind of stuff. So I think x Transloss did a pretty good job with this. This is a very old design, but I think they've made some slight modifications, modernized it, or they've done something to it, I'm, I'm sure, over the last five years. But also, more than that, they've given it recolor, so you can get a, a green one if you want, and that's what the green one looks like. And these are actual prototypes, if not production samples, and they look really good. And I bet you, the, once they start hitting, they'll hit fast with all the different colors. And then here is the yellow one. Oh, orange one looks pretty good overall also. I'm grappling with the word grapple here. So Generation Toys put out samples of their GT11D Dark Knight. That is the Black Beast Side Swipe color prototype images. And it does look pretty good. They've recently made this in red or maybe a while ago. And so that was kind of hit. People really liked it. And so it does look good in both modes. There it is, and it transforms into a bull instead of a Lamborghini. And so that's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. And I don't know how far they're going to go with their beast line here, but it does seem like a lot of people like it. So here's a repaint, and this is the Generation Toy GT11D Dark Knight. So we've got more pictures of fans' hobby with their Dreadwind Dreadwing take. And so here they are in the... Uh, bot mode and look pretty good. They look pretty good together as a pair and so it seems like we got some pictures last week Now we're getting a little bit more this week a little bit more teaser pictures But uh, if you're gonna display them in bot mode, which I think I think it's gonna be a 50 50 split because it's kind of that cool Transformation of the jet combining thing, but there they go in bot mode Here are the jet mode side by side showing kind of the difference in design So they are two different figures completely and then of course they do that whole combining thing They didn't show an updated picture of the combining mode but you get these Power Master guys that go with them. So pretty cool, pretty interesting. Overall, I'm going to be following this project, and I bet you pretty soon we'll start seeing some of these color pictures coming out, painted prototypes. So we got a picture of Metagates, their G01 Haiku Drift coming out, and this is showing them in the boxes. They're getting shipped and all that kind of stuff. So good stuff right there. But this is their first one, and it's kind of like a samurai kind of a deal. They're also making a... Pterosaur, it's Air King Pterosaur G04, same company making that. There's 
just prototype stages on that one right there. Or actually not even a prototype yet. So anyway, pretty cool. We'll see what else comes from this company, Metagate. Back over to X Transbots, and they showed their packaging art for this guy right over here, their overheat. And it looks pretty good. It's like a blue version of drag strip. The the cooler part though is the back of the box and so they kind of show all the different recolors of the Omnibots that they're putting out and all this kind of stuff. So I look forward to the just the standard Omnibots, but I do want to reiterate that if you're interested in these other colors, they're going to be made in very small production runs. So they're not going to be a bunch of them around. So if you're interested in one, you want to kind of grab one while they're available because these will probably sell out relatively fast for extra spots because they're not going to do a full run. They're just extra small amounts. And those small amounts ones, they sell. Like I would sit here and think who's going to buy all these and then somehow they just sell. So Tar Takara is going to be having an event called Takara Tomi Hobby Expo where basically they show what's coming up with Masterpiece and, and some other properties also. So the cool thing about this, this is going to be happening the 23rd. 24th and 25th so basically next weekend and with that I expect to see a whole bunch of pictures coming out of it and all kinds of upcoming stuff coming out of it so that will be kind of interesting to see what's going on but then again I do believe we'll have already seen most of it already but I expect to have a couple of surprises a couple of things in there and maybe some updates and updates on prototypes all that kind of stuff so that'd be kind of cool to see and it, to me I'm not gonna be able to go to it obviously it's it's not here in the US it is overseas but uh, with that this movie masterpiece MBM 12N Nemesis Prime is up for pre-order at all the different places that you would pre-order this guy. So uh, they just put that up for pre-order if you're interested in this one. It is going to have a U.S. retail of $155 with a ship date in January of 2023. But again, I, we've already seen the standard one come out, the standard Prime. It's just a recolored Nemesis Prime. So if you're in on it, then jump on the pre-orders while they're still there. Sell out. So sliding into just some regular mainline news, kind of light on third party and all that kind of stuff. But uh, with this, we do have the Transmetal 2 Megatron in hand. And I think it looks pretty good. This Beast Wars, this is the dragon, the red dragon. And I like it. I like the way it looks overall. And so getting to see in hand images, so you get to see the flaws because they're not hiding the flaws as much as that professional photography. But still with this, it looks really good. And since having the original, then having the Zhang Zing one, then I, I kind of know that this looks good for a mainline. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near the JX version, but it does look pretty good. So also looking at the bot mode, here we are with the bot mode here, and this does look pretty awesome too. It's a much slimmer, sleeker, more like the cartoon, more animation accurate. I mean, just I just start to wonder, like, why did they not make it like this back in the day? And so anyway, still looks awesome and i'll definitely be picking this guy up even though i have better superior versions but i do want to point out that the jx version seems to be coming back in stock at show z so if you want to pick up the i think it's 265 dollars for the jx third party one now yeah, that's coming in stock right now so there's some things coming out showing up in canada right now which it's it's pretty cool that they're getting this next wave with uh i think a knockout alita one wild rider and Tarantulas. So now this Tarantulas was found at GameStop. They didn't find the rest of them, but I imagine the rest of them are going to be floating around out there too. I haven't seen this here in my area, but I think a couple people in the US have found it already. But it's kind of exciting to see new product, even if the new product isn't really all that exciting. But we've been looking at it for a while. But yes, it's been released in the US, now released in Canada, and maybe other places too. Okay, so there's a whole slew of upcoming releases and it's listings that are found. These are substantiated, I guess. So looking at this, one of these is the Generation Studio Series War for Cybertron Megatron. So again, I don't know exactly which one that's going to be. So it's not matching a picture with it, just showing a statement here. Also, Studio Series, it's the Voyager TF7 Warrior. So I'm interested in seeing what that is from the Rise of the, Rise of the Beast. And then Studio Series Core Class Hydra. And then there's going to be a Core Bumblebee. And as for the cores, I'm not really too in on all of the different cores, just the ones that make sense. And then Studio Series Core Delta 2. So I'm still interested in seeing what those all look like, but the juicy stuff's coming up here in a second. So this is a graphic that was put together by TFW2005, and someone by the name of JT Prime 17 has collected a listing of these upcoming Studio Series. And so we've got, obviously, the Deluxe Tarantulas, which we already saw showing up. 
we have the Shadow Striker. It's a deluxe, a deluxe strong arm, and then a deluxe Junkion 3, which I think we've seen a picture of that. But uh, that one still kind of get my mind around it being a deluxe versus a Voyager. And then we have Deluxe Bombshell, which we could have expected. So that's in this graphic here, another Insecticon. We do want to go ahead and dial out all the Insecticons and get them in the new articulation, new aesthetic, new scale, and all that kind of stuff. But then Deluxe Beachcomber, which is going to look fantastic. And then we have an EV Deluxe uh, Detrius. I I'm not sure who Detrius is, but then we got Devcon. So a Deluxe Devcon, which a lot of people will be looking forward to, which still... I'm surprised why is it not going to be uh, Voyager scale so I, I don't know about that and then we're gonna be getting of course the EV Robo Wild Rider and then an EV core Thundercracker so core meaning the small one and then EV Voyager Dirge now we do need the cone heads reissued those are hard to get and we have a EV scrap hook and it was uh, previously reported as junkie on one and then We've got a core frenzy, which is taller than the previous frenzy that they made. And then the core uh, 86 iron hide, so it's going to be another small iron hide. Then an 86 deluxe brawn, which we see in this graphic here, pretty exciting. Then a the Voyager ratchet, and then then some stuff about capsules, which I'm not really sure how I don't know about these capsules, but going to have a whole bunch of capsules coming up. So it's exciting to see all this new stuff coming, and they're reworking some of the past mini bots. I like that. All right, so it was kind of a light week of Transformers news this week, but I do want to say I think next week's going to be pretty heavy or heavier. So we're getting into talking about this Ghost Rider uh, HasLab. I've got to talk about HasLabs, of course. And the thing about this is it's $350. You're getting a, a 112 scale car for six-inch figures. You're getting the Ghost Rider himself. And and with that, it's not worth $350. But all the other add-ons that it's going to get, it's going to get a figure if it funds by a certain date like they've been doing lately so you get some other added figure i don't know anything about it uh, i'm personally not in on this i don't care if they give us 15 figures it's just it's not something i'm interested in uh so i'm not gonna buy it i didn't know this was part of the mcu because it's considered marvel but i guess it is i just thought this was like a one-off movie they made back in 06 or something and it was all right to me but i guess there's a fan base so if there's a fan base they've already sold almost 4,000 of these pre-orders so it's pretty interesting and I guess there's a there's a market for it and it's gonna sell so uh, I'm excited for everybody that wants this and gets this so that's really cool it doesn't light up wheels and all that kind of stuff now you could swap out the wheels with regular wheels make just a standard 112 scale vehicle but see HasLab is no longer a place where you go get dream projects made that can't ever get made anywhere else and they're just huge massive projects it's more of a bundle system, so uh, it, it's worth barely the 300 or 350 once you add in all of the tiers if they're maxed out. So uh, this will probably max out because uh, there's just really not that much going on out there with Ghost Rider. So with that, well, it does look interesting. It does look pretty cool. It's got LED light up stuff and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm curious if you're in on this or if anybody's gotten in on this already. So getting into Masters of the Universe, uh, like I said in the intro, I do want to say I'm proud of the community for not plopping down $150 for this. So I have a lot to say about this too. First of all, when they first announced it, I was thinking, yeah, it'll probably be about 80 bucks. You know, they're $15 figures that they're now asking $17 or $18 for. And so yeah, 30 cents more per packaging each. Let's get that up to about 80 bucks. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know if I'm in on it for 80. I might buy it at 80 and sell a couple of them and just keep the ones I want. I don't, I don't know. And I was on the fence. When they said 150 I was like, I'm not even considering it. I didn't even get in front of the computer. I didn't even look at it until like hours, five hours later. I was like, oh yeah, that's a thing. And uh, it turns out it's still up right now. So they didn't sell out because the community is not going to be taken advantage of like this. And I'm proud of everybody. So uh, that also speaks volumes to don't overprice Eternia. So I just got to say, don't overprice Eternia. That speaks volumes right there. And so with that, we have been kind of getting raked over the coals with these HasLabs and all this stuff being way overpriced and stuff like that. I'm glad that we are putting our foot down. Now, here we go with Motu Tuesday. Stratos is coming. We see the packaging. I have to admit that these Masterverse figures are getting better and better and better with each one. Uh, it's not quite classics. And, of course, they are trying to ask money that you could buy classics figures for what they were asking for that each individual figure four pack i've seen lots of classic figures go for around the 40 dollars price point and so anyway this is 20 
three dollars or something along those lines for a stratos and it's going to replace the classics on a shelf or just be in your new modern display of these masterverse new attorney and all that kind of stuff and a ton of accessories so i think they do really well with this i'm glad he's not a deluxe figure at like 33 dollars so pretty good keep it at 23 keep it under control okay so now we're getting into the marshall sundown from chicken fried toys now this is something in their dime novel legend series and so with this i don't think they're going to do an entire toy line of cops and crooks i literally think this is just a one-off figure in the 118 scale for four inch or 3.75 inch and that's just what they're going to make now i don't have hardly any information except just this picture and other pictures I found that stuff that they've released in the past, but it's still pretty interesting, exciting to see Sundown getting made, and a lot of the the cops and crooks community are gonna be excited about this to just get something. And so with that, I don't see it going past. I don't see us getting uh, all of the the bulletproof or, or Big Boss, or I don't see us just getting all that stuff. I I think this is just the one they're gonna make. If you look at the roster of the other stuff that they made, it's all just kind of western stuff that they've done but i could be wrong i could be a hundred percent wrong they could actually go and do the whole the whole entire cops and crooks toy line but it just seems like every single thing that they've made in this scale in this style is just kind of a western theme and so it's a bunch of different western themes too so it's pretty cool what they're doing and they're sticking with it but i wouldn't i wouldn't cross my fingers and hold my breath that we're getting every all 29 characters from from good old cops and crooks okay so for gi joe uh this is stuff we kind of already knew but it's just getting reiterated to us but we do have pulse con september 30th so that's uh pretty much two weeks from now september 30th and october 1st and they're promising fans a one-of-a-kind of experience and celebrating iconic brands and all that kind of stuff so what, what they're going to be doing is putting up some of these items for order, pre-order, and all that kind of stuff. There will be uh, virtual events and all that, but we will be getting an exclusive PulseCon items such as the Serpentor and Air Chariot. So now I'm hoping that, let's say, these sell out super fast, and you just still want a Serpentor. Hopefully you can still, there's a way to get Serpentor and Dr. Mindbender in a different form, just by themselves or whatever, at retail down the road. So I, I would really hope that this is not the only way to get Serpentor. But if it is the only way to get Serpentor, then I really hope they have enough volume to cover all that. Then, of course, we're getting the Transformers Legacy, a Heroes Born Alpha Trion and a Ryan Pax 2-pack, the Black Series uh, Cassian Andor and B2 Emo, and then we're getting the Vintage Collection Mandalorian Rescue 4-pack. So a lot of stuff that's going to be going on and exclusives to them, but I also think there's going to be so many more uh, future releases they're going to talk about, especially when it comes to G.I. Joe Classified, they're going to talk about a lot of upcoming stuff, a lot of a lot of uh, digital renders, I guess, that they're going to show us. So Rom Toy has shown us some pictures of uh, their upcoming weapon system that they're going to be putting with the... Now, these are the smaller 80s commanders, and it's the 1 12th scale, and this is an unproduced kind of a prototype from Hasbro. I don't even remember the name. I don't even remember the name of this weapon system that 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 Kenner had once called this. But it looks pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. It's fun to see stuff that we could have had back in the day. And now we're going to get it in real life. We're going to get it realized for ROM Toy. Now, I don't have price on it yet, availability on this yet. This is just something they're working on. They're putting pictures up on their site. So I figure I'd like to talk about it, and it's, it's a lot of fun. But we haven't gotten a weapon system yet for the 80s commander, so it'd be a whole lot of fun to start out and get one new weapon system that wasn't the pack-in weapon system that we got with the figure. So that will be interesting to see how that goes, how it functions, all the functionality, and of course, how it presents on the shelf. So something like this would be an excellent start. Looks fantastic. It looks awesome. It's pretty exciting. It, it kind of feels like a cross between the Death Charge and the Tidal Blast. So, uh, so yeah, pretty interesting, pretty cool whole lot of fun and I look forward to getting another weapon system for the 80s commanders. So there recently was a live stream and Ramen has kind of shown their Marshall, the 112 skill action figure that's going to get made. Now this is 
It looks similar to Brave Star, but it's not Brave Star. But there's a few things to say about this. Now there's going to be a hat and a hat with a visor, and so there's going to be a whole lot of stuff that the original one didn't have, and it's going to have holsters that are like more of real holsters than what the original toy had. And it's going to have a much more tune, accurate look, you know, to the Marshall cartoon and all of that kind of stuff. So it does look pretty good, and it's going to have a lot more articulation, which the original one was pretty decent, but this is going to go a whole other step further. And with all of that, it looks fantastic. Now, the bigger news was that they said they are going to make something called 30. So for those of you who don't know what 30 is, well, the Marshal is going to have some sort of a horse companion that is going to maybe transform <laughs> and maybe stand on its hind legs and act like a human and have some stomping to do and all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty exciting. Here's the thing. The original Brave Star 3030 horse is ridiculously fragile. And when it does transform or convert to more of a humanoid type of character, it is way out of scale. And so hopefully all of that's corrected and it looks a lot more like the, the Marshall cartoon and all that kind of stuff. So would be interesting to see. I look forward to, to the 30 more than this, but I am going to get this because it's pretty exciting. So we haven't seen Brave Star, uh, the Marshall, touched in almost 40 years okay so getting into some star wars news there's not a lot of star wars news ever really anymore maybe we'll see some at PulseCon. i doubt it i doubt it but anyway so looking at this this is uh some news this is showing up at entertainment earth at 15 dollars pre-order for october now i'm at the point where i literally cannot remember what all has been made and issued what's still on pre-order of all of this stuff I just can't keep up with it all anymore because because there's so many like few and far between and then it's like six months till we get it or eight months till we get it and some of the stuff I pre-order some of the stuff I pass on and a lot of it I thought I might be able to find in the store and so I'm gonna say from now on if you ex really really want something you need to pre-order it because stuff like this will never show up in a Walmart or at least not in my area so the ones I pre-ordered which I don't even remember the names of them, but I pre-ordered some they came in a little bit bent up, but not bad, but they never ever showed up a store in my area. And then I was somewhere on a road trip this past weekend and I found some of these somewhere, but the cards were just mutilated, completely mutilated. So A, they don't show up in my area and B, if I go on a road trip and find them, I find them mutilated. Okay, so GameStop has two gaming greats, Black Series figures up for pre-order. And it is the Black Series droid here. This is the Republic Commando droid. And then they also have a Fallen Order Stormtrooper. So you can pre-order those. But one thing I want to point out about this is that these show the closed box and all that kind of situation. I also want to point out that I have not received anything I pre-ordered from GameStop in six or eight months. Uh, I think that something came in, but it was... I had already had it for six or eight months, and I forgot I even had the pre-order. So I cleaned up my pre-orders there, but I still haven't gotten most of my pre-orders from GameStop. So I don't know what's making them so much further behind everyone else, but that was my secret place to go get everything first. I had everything first from GameStop for a long time in like 2021, and then 2022 came. 2020 and 2021. 2022 came, and stuff just dried up. Or maybe it was late 2021 when stuff just stopped showing up. So I don't know what changed with them at all, but it seems like I can't get any of my pre-orders in a timely manner there at all. Lastly, I want to talk about this. I actually wanted to talk about this a while back, but yakface.com kind of wrote about it a bit and talked about this whole situation where the, we're going to get a ton of these Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, retro series figures. Now, there's two things that are a problem. Number one, that the vintage collection stuff at Walmart, at some Walmart, my Walmart, are cheaper. They're $10. They're $9.99 now. And these are $12. So they rose the price on these to $12 and then lowered the price of vintage collection a lot of Walmart. But even at Target's, you go to Target's and find them. But you, you're not going to have any trouble getting this weight at all, whatsoever. It's out at retail. And it doesn't, I don't think it's selling all that well. I think that what happened with a handful of collectors wanted to get them a set, maybe four or five collectors in each store, out of each store, and then nobody touches them. So uh, will these hit clearance? When they hit clearance, will you still be able to get a whole wave? 
in when they hit clearance will they not be completely mutilated on the shelf because of the thin card backs and all that kind of stuff so uh, a lot of questions there but this seems to be all they're really putting out very few and far between on decent quality black series figures that anybody would want or care for and then the vintage collection is just kind of hit and miss and a lot of promises to the future maybe 2023 promises coming out so with this i mean holiday season i guess we can just count on seeing these and then maybe christmas will sell these out yes it has been a light week in transformers news and more or less a light week in news overall but there's still always a lot of stuff going on in the big picture and i expect next week because this week was so light to be pretty heavy let me just think in the comments below what else did i miss that's really awesome out there like and subscribe to deer hanger out